renumbering the custom WBS codes. It's clear that after we move or delete tasks, their custom WBS codes may no longer be in the correct sequence. Project does not automatically renumber the WBS codes because we may be using those WBS codes in documents or other systems that are not linked to our project file. We can renumber the WBS codes of all tasks or selected tasks. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to see about that here in this video. We have Project 2007 open. We have the Gantt chart view, a very popular view. So here we have several lines of tasks. Select the tasks that we want to renumber. If we want to renumber a particular task, we have to select that particular task. If we want to renumber WBS codes for all tasks, don't select any task. Before renumbering, let's add a task here. We have added a task, and now look at the WBS code here. It's not in the proper sequence. For this reason, we go for renumbering. I hope you're now clear with that. Click on the Project menu. Point to WBS and then click on Renumber. Before clicking on it, this renumber option is not enabled if we're assigning the WBS code for the first time. It will only be enabled for renumbering. We decided to correct the WBS code sequence for all tasks in the project, so click on Entire Project. Now it gives a clear warning, do you want to continue with the operation or not? Click Yes to continue. See, now it's been properly arranged. It follows a certain order, so this is the exact use of renumbering. We can also try adding some more tasks here, and then we can renumber again. Before this video completes, try to do that. So, up till now, we have discussed creating custom WBS codes. In the next lesson, we're going to discuss creating default WBS codes. Creating default WBS codes. In our previous lesson, we discussed creating custom WBS codes. Now, in this video, we're going to discuss creating default WBS codes. So that means you don't have to create WBS codes. You can use the default codes that Project assigns to your tasks. Simple! Project assigns WBS codes based on a task's position in the outline structure. Creating default WBS codes is pretty easy. It just takes a few minutes. Let's continue. We have Project 2007 open, and we have the Gantt chart view. To add the default WBS codes, first we need to add a new column. Right-click here to add a new column. Select Insert Column from the shortcut menu that appears. We have the Column Definition dialog box open, and here we have to select the WBS column. From the Field Name drop-down list, select WBS. We can simply type on W to see WBS here. So we have selected WBS here. And finally, click OK. Wow! Project displays WBS codes for each task in the WBS column. The WBS code that Project assigns to each task is based on the task's level in the outline. Tasks at the highest level of the outline have whole numbers for WBS codes. In this chapter, we have seen WBS, both custom and default. WBS will be very useful when we are performing multiple tasks. In the next chapter, we are going to discuss estimates and dependencies.